Babies. They're adorable, but what are they hiding? What secrets are they not revealing in their first few months? My curiosity led me to Cornell's Human Ecology Department, where, thankfully, they're attempting to answer exactly that. Professor Steven Robertson, with help from his brilliant assistant, Katie Jean, is researching how babies seek out and construct information from the world around them. So we've like progressed, and now what we're looking at is how the attention changes before the baby looks away, because it's often the attention will drop before a look away, you know what I mean? Even though their, okay. their gaze changes differently than their attention. Okay. Usually they're correlated, but um, right before a look away or right after you look onto a, a new stimulus, their attention might not correlate directly to their gaze. Considering the importance of the research, I decided it was only right to donate my baby's brain to science. Someday, I hope he'll return the favor. By measuring a baby's gaze and the brain's reaction to sight and sound, the team hopes to learn more about how babies interpret the environment around them. We measure the attention with the cap that we have on his head, the EEG cap, yep. and then we measure his gaze, and what we're really looking at then is how sound affected that. Um, did sound make him look at the center duck longer because that's where the sound was coming from, or did sound like, if he were in nature, would sound mean danger, and would that broaden his you know, scope, and so he'd be paying attention and looking at different ducks, so. You're so adorable! If all goes to plan, this research will help unlock the secrets to understanding how a child develops disabling conditions such as attention deficit disorder and hyperactivity, diseases that affect two million children in the USA alone. As a parent, it's reassuring to know that Cornell is playing a pivotal role in combating illnesses that affect so many children. This is invaluable research that has the potential to have a huge impact on the world around us. Hopefully, my son's brain will help Professor Robertson make groundbreaking discoveries in human development. In the end, I may not have learned everything he's thinking, but now I know a great exercise for putting a three-month-old sound to sleep.